This Let's Play series was sponsored by THQ Nordic. Check out the links down below if you're interested in Darksiders 3. Arcane! Oh, I have to keep holding it too. Alright. Force ball to magnetize on other force surfaces. Well, this, this makes sense. Exactly the power I have in mind. Wow. Well, things are are gonna be different now that we have our new path. We have a few places to go through. The Lord of Hollows will never be accused of subtlety. Time to find the next sin. Are you certain? I'm just asking. Seems to me you might be going a little soft. At least that's the Lord of Hollows here to see. <laughs> If you truly want to see how I have softened, question my resolve again. Hey, yeah, I'm still smacking things around and killing everything we're coming into. We're just putting a little bit more thought into it. Isn't that, isn't that a desirable trait? I think we just dropped it up. Yeah. Isn't that a desirable trait to think before we act? <laughs> I guess not when uh, you need blind oh, faith. There's been a change. It's natural, I think, after all you've been exposed to here. What do you mean? Need I remind you, there is no absolute good, nor is there absolute evil in the universe. Those are human concepts. The Charred Council is aware of this. It's the very reason for their continued existence. Ugh, the way you blather on, what are you trying to say? Heaven and Hell are not absolutes, either. Seen with the proper perspective, they are simply two opposing forces scrambling to gain power over this sad wall of mud. It is the way of all things. Precisely. But why would they be so focused on this rock and its teeming bacteria when there is an entire cosmos to explore and to conquer? I mean, that is a good fucking question. For probably general power. I mean, one problem with the Dark Side universe, and I guess, you know, it goes for them too, is that we don't really have the answers from the Creator. So... People are just buying with incredible fervor and dedication for something that they don't fully know about, but they think that they do. They think they're gonna get absolute power or that their worth is gonna be proven Balance. to all people. Yes. When I'm occupied with this miserable conflict, the greater universe has a chance to remain pure. That is a curious method for seeking balance, uh. especially for being so powerful. Yes, very curious. So I was just saying, if you were in doubt, I would ask. Oh shit. No! There was a, a treasure up there. I don't know how to get back up there, though. Oh. Right. The giant tentacle creature lays around here, too. Oh, I, I just disintegrated. Oh, just a burst explosion. They didn't really seem to do terribly much damage. I need to heal. You know what? That's 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 pretty funny. 
I tried to jump up in the air to avoid his attack, and it didn't work out. Oh my god, why is my frame rate tanking here? Let me check something. Okay, uh, I thought maybe there'd be something open on my computer taking up a lot of... a lot of hard drive or, uh, like, RAM or something. Nope, nope. I, I can't really give a full answer as to why that was. <sighs> That's gonna bother me that there's an item up there that I... I didn't get. Oh, you're both alive enemies. I was like, oh, they look different from each other. So they must be two different types of enemies. No. I mean, well, yeah. Well, they're different types of enemies. But I meant to say, I, I thought one was just like a regular corpse. A wide-eyed friend. Try not to scream like a child. You try not to die. I can't guarantee anything, especially with this frame rate. Holy shit. Yikes. I'll deal with that in a second. So is this an area we've been in before? Not really. Not at all. That's fine with me, I suppose. There's things for us to generally explore. But we gotta go beat up the... the giant octopus. I don't know. There's still a little bit for me to discover over here with with my frame rate being so bad. I have to check this. Hold on. I I, I just it's just so noticeable. All right. Top left. What is going on? Okay. You know what? Some funky's going on. It's perfectly 30 FPS. Something must have ticked on. Because we were getting 60 beforehand, and now we're not? I don't know. I don't know about that one, man. I'm gonna have to find an area, a vulgar point, and like, put off from there. Okay, I restarted my game, and I think, yeah, we're- we're fine, we're fine. I- what I think happened is... Because I reformatted my computer, uh, and had to install the drivers fresh, my GPU settings were all- all different. And NVIDIA drivers, or NVIDIA GPUs, sometimes they like to throttle your performance when their temperature gets a little bit too high. And so I think that's what was happening. Uh, because I've definitely had that happen a bunch of times, I don't think it was completely just the game. But I've also had plenty of games lock at 30 FPS, but, so I don't know. Either restarting it fixed it, or changing my GPU settings so that way it doesn't throttle my FPS fixed it. Oh boy, I don't like this setup. Ooh, okay, all right. He died instantly. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Okay, so the acid does a lot of damage. That's good to know. It killed me in two ticks. <sighs> That's... Fortunate. Where the hell am I now? I'm all the way back here? That's really bizarre. But okay. I guess it's because this is the closest point over there because of the, the octopus monster. Alright. I was about to just walk the long way. I'm probably still gonna fast travel back over there into the ship, because there is something inside the ship that I want. 
Take your time. Cargo hold. I want to get that item we missed out on. The one that was all the way at the top. It's probably just going to end up being... More... Like, like, souls or something. I was going to say churn for some reason, but that, that definitely didn't make any sense. Oops. I like how I don't really have much control over that. It really just slaps me onto the wall and I can either go forward or backwards on it. I can't roll myself around in the 3D space. Like I'm holding up, nothing's happening. Holding down, and we're rolling right. I have to wonder if we're gonna encounter anywhere that uh, changes it up. Also, oh shit, you know what? Everything, everything's gonna respawn because I died. Ugh. Can I knock this guy into the ground? Or into the, uh, the acid? That'd just be great to me. I'd really want that, but I guess it's not gonna happen. <laughs> So I wonder what kind of attacks my Mallet of Scorn has anyways. Let's see. Mallet of Scorn. Uh, it doesn't, it basically is like the other weapons by the looks of it. But there are some different stuff on them. Like you can see Raging Flame, that's a 4Y attack. Let's see, so... Alright. We're never gonna use this hammer to its full effectiveness. I just like my fire attacks way too much. It's just so darn useful to set an enemy on fire and then continue the fight. It's also nice basically being a walking torch. Okay, uh, it was just a healing shard. That's even less useful to me than soul. Ow. I wonder what enemies are going to respawn here. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping maybe the... the energy angel wasn't going to do anything. Cause he seemed like a big scary baddie, but uh, no, no, he's he's still here. All right. This time around, I'm not gonna get shoved off of the acid pool, or shoved off into the acid pool by the bugs. Ow. There are a lot less enemies over here for some reason. That has me really suspicious. Damn it. I wish it worked similarly to what it used to, where I could just point at an enemy and it would auto lock on. But I guess I could see why they would change it because that was also sometimes more annoying than helpful. We both missed, pal. So what's gonna be over here? Because this is a pretty big detour in comparison to going after the other sin. Also, while I was, uh, oh shit. Uh, the teleporting enemies teleport! Oh my god. Oh 
Jesus Christ, man. Can you just be dead already? Yikes. Okay. We're alive. Anyways, I was thinking about all the sins we've killed so far, because there's seven sins, and I was like, I think we've killed four. And I started listing them off to myself in the order that I killed them, so I was like, Envy? And then I hesitated, like, wait, Envy? And I would like to admit that I definitely, indeed, during the cutscene, where Lust offered to give us the location of Envy, completely didn't catch that that one is bullshit. Of course, I wouldn't have trusted her even if Envy hadn't already been killed by her own hands. But now I can- now, now I'm like, oh, that's why she looked at the talisman and everything- Because- because- not because, oh well, we can just figure it out on our own, but because, well, haha, <laughs> we killed her already. So, suck it. That's uh, that was an oopsies on my part. I just had to consider it because I really wasn't trying to care too much about anything Lust was offering. She was just full bullshit at that point. Oh my god. They knocked me all the way back to this soul over here. I was gonna just kind of save it for a bit. So what the hell is this about? Oh shit! All right, that's kind of cool. I thought maybe I was gonna smash it open and it was gonna reveal something. No, it's just there for traversal stuff. The question is why? I was hoping my hammer would make face to him faster than the sword made fa made contact with me. Alright, so this is obviously here to assist in traversing. I think I have to do it in that corner over there. So, like so? Um... Maybe not. I also might not be able to do anything here just yet because obviously we're gonna need the fourth power in order to be able to actually go up these walls. Mm, but maybe I can double jump up to it. Aha! I don't gotta wait for nothing! Alright, there's an item on the other side of this wall. Which makes me sad that we're not going to be able to get it. Oh! There's the Manx! Why do I need the Manx? <laughs> I, we're going to have to go back. We're, we're going to have to look around and, and identify the reasons as to why. There was also, I think, a couple of things that were just floating around, or not really floating, but like sitting up top for me to destroy. I didn't actually like fully consciously notice them, I subconsciously noticed them, and then forgot promptly. Right? Maybe I did get it already. I definitely am going just really, really fast. So, we can't generally send the Manx over, over the acid. So what is the purpose of this? Is it just here to help us get to the other side of this faster? Like a shortcut? Because I don't really see any other purpose for it. Yeah. 
Yeah, it must be. It reaches perfectly here. Anything else? There's no other areas that are even with this spot right, at, right, right now. So, okay. I'm done with this general side for now. Until we get my other powers. I'd keep exploring over there, but we're, we'll be back. Maybe. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be plenty of areas I never actually go back to. Oh. The worst part is that we've seen so many areas with the purple rocks to destroy with force. I don't remember where all of them are going to be. What's going on in here? I hear an item. Oh, I see an item. Oh, it's on the other side of the angel. I was hoping this would lead me to, like, another human or something. We're perfectly in the back. Where a human could be. Alright. Oh, we're way the hell over here now. That's funny. I, uh, I always love just being like, oh yeah! One of the items I missed was up here. It was on top of that little drum barrel. It gave me, I think, I think it gave me a Havoc Shard. But hey, you know what? I've used a Havoc Shard now. Alright, Angelic Artifact and a hidden spot over here. The worst part is there's gonna be a lot of areas like this. Or maybe not like this, we'll have to see what's ahead. But there's gonna be a lot of areas where it doesn't really lead to any anywhere besides just one item. And that's how come I'm so wary about like backtracking currently. Because I don't wanna backtrack, open up an area, and basically have only gone there for a single item, or to open up an area, find out that I needed a new power, and then basically just be stuck. And that had to be forced to go back. Holy shit. We are super, super backtracking now. So how do I make it across here? Hey, no. I'm working through some things right now. I'm trying to figure out how to get across this gap. Yeah, that's not happening. Ooh. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> okay, I've got proper working sound. But I can't- oh, there we go. Thank god, I touched the surface, so I was able to reset things. The game- I hit a perfect series of buttons to make the game think that I was now under- or uh, still standing on ground. Which is silly. Damn it. I keep swapping to my force. When I'm trying to double jump, which is, uh, would be bad. Yeah, I don't know why I'm c continuing to go up. Can I even backdrop from here? I think I can. Yeah, we can. There you go. Hey, Skeleton Bros, haven't seen you in a while. Just a few hours, really. Oh, screw you, man. All that work I did, and you're just gonna. You're just gonna. Give me a quick jab. Jesus. Navigating these guys is the worst. Oh, hey! I missed another item!
damn it, dude. You are awful. I just want this item. Thank you for more money. Okay. We're gonna go down the giant hole leading me to the blue sin. Because we still have two more sins to kill before we can go after Pride. If she'll really actually fight us after killing six of the sins. But I'm sure there's still some other bosses that aren't the... aren't the sins themselves. So... I'm hoping that we're still, you know, still got a little bit to go. Hello. It's a good thing I heard the item. I still prefer pulsing sounds for, like, indicating an item's nearby than... a, a soft ring. Because the difference is much more noticeable when you're like, when, when you're just kind of standing there and you hear Bing! 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 Versus if you're just kind of walking around, you hear and I, I was gonna try and keep it up, but I <laughs> Oh, have I been over here? Oh, this is where we just came from. That would explain why I definitely hadn't seen it before, technically. Also, holy shit, I have 15,000 souls? When did that happen? Oh god, I've been ambushed! I'm trying to dodge your attacks in a perfect timing and I'm failing! Well, at least he burned out. <laughs> Even if I had to fail dodging it right there. Oh yeah, I was gonna go buy slivers from... from Vulgrim. Did I just hear Vulgrim? No. That's someone else. That's just a... Sounds like a normal zombie. Well, I'm going down the hole. Seems like a bad idea to follow a giant creature that was like 90% invincible. But okay, Fury's able to walk underwater. Oh, this is on purpose! Oh! Oh, I, got, I thought the game just got stupid! Oh, wow. That's weird. Great. So now we have underwater sections. Look, there are the electric eels, they're back! Because now we can attack underwater! Yay! What if I just go the other way for a second, you know? Hey, thank you for watching! If you're interested in the Darksiders series or Darksiders 3, check out the links below for more info. Thanks again to THQ Nordic for sponsoring this series, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.